Howdy folks, this is a CCPS headline tutorial to get you started so your page has content on it and ready for the switch over. First you need to navigate to your school homepage. I'm going to sign in so you have to make sure you've already activated your account and if you haven't activated your account this is where you would do that right here once I sign in on the top menu bar you see where it says my headline you're gonna see your name and the courses that you have listed under your name so the course that I'm using is my high school course this is what a course page would look like every course that you teach that is in focus with an identifying course number will have a course page. I want to edit my course page. I want to go up to edit this page. You'll notice once I do that, I get this top menu bar up here. As you hover over each section, you'll notice that they become activated so you can edit some of the features. First thing I want to do is I want to go down here and I want to replace the image. So I'm going to choose a file and I already have an image saved. So you make sure you have an image saved and I'm going to select a file and now it is in place of the image. Next thing I want to do is I actually want to change the name of my course. So I would like to call it Mrs. Carboni's Period 1. When you look at all the courses, you'll see it in alphabetical order. I'm going to click Save. Image done. Course name changed. Next section, you have your news, your calendar, questions or comments. On the right hand side are contents and links. Links are URLs. When you click on them, it will bring you out to a document or it can bring you out to a website. I want to focus on content. The content folder, you have assignments, class info, and test. Those are defaults. I would like to create a folder because I want it to coincide with my calendar. So I'm going to add an item is the quick way to do it. I'm actually going to go to edit and list view. I like list view because I can see all the folders I already have. I want to add a folder. Folders work with your calendars. So right here you can add documents. You can add links here. Here's where I'm going to add a folder. This is where you can add a slideshow also, a PowerPoint. I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to click add. I'm going to name my folder course assignments by date. Folder description. You can add whatever folder description you would like. Folder management. Folder policies. You can select who you'd like to see this folder and I'll click students and parents. Then I'm going to go down to folder visibility. It says everyone including guest users can access this folder. What that means is when somebody clicks on your course page out on the web, it's public. Everyone can see it. Everyone can access that folder. Friendly URL. This is the link to get directly to that folder. I'm going to save and return. And now I have a folder called course assignments by date and I'm going to click done. This is where I want to add my assignments. I'm going to use my calendar for this. You can add an item. It's a quick add or you can edit in calendar view. I'm going to go out to calendar view and you're going to see here's your calendar. I have nothing listed for today. So I'm going to add an item. Click the plus sign. The event title, I'm going to title it. Now where it says uncategorized events, I want to categorize it because I want the events to show up under my course assignments by date. I want my events to show up in this folder. You can create an event summary. It's displayed underneath your event title. The location is where it is located. You can set an event reoccurrence. You can have this event last for the whole week if you like. So I'm going to give it a reoccurrence of a week. So I'm going to start it today and I'm going to have it end next week. I'm going to save and return. This is where you can add content. I'm going to import a file that I have made. I need to browse for the file and then I'm going to import it. The multiple posting feature is very important to save you a lot of time. You want to add the groups to the right hand side. Don't be confused by the word groups. What they mean are course pages. So I'm going to add the elementary school over here to the right. Multiple posting means anything I add to this calendar event will be posted to the elementary school. A nice feature is you can do multi-post to all your course pages at once. Click here to include all classes. It will select all of your courses at once. You can change your visibility or 
actually check your visibility, which I already did, but you can go back and just double check it to see that it's still set at what it is. And then your friendly URL, same difference. It gives you the direct link to this event in your calendar. I'm going to save and return and I'm going to click done. The next thing I want to do is I want to click done because I want to go back and look and see how the event populated in my content. Contents, course, assignments by date because I selected that folder to post these assignments in. And there is my assignment with the date. The next place I see it for my calendar is right here. Underneath calendar, it will start to list them by current events. Now, if I click on calendar to view my calendar, they will also show up in here. Now, if I click on your first assignment, this is the graphic I linked to this event. You can put a Word document in here, a PowerPoint, and students can download those also. Same thing if you want to add links, you can add an item to this box or you can do it in list view. I'm going to add document title and the URL for that link is multiple posting. If I want this link to show up on my other courses, I would click that course and add it. Document visibility, I'm going to leave it as is. Save and return, click done, and my link to FCAT Explorer is now visible here. Classroom activities, I'm going to click enter text by hand, and I'm going to type, okay, this is where now I would like to insert a table. So I'm going to go to insert table, and I'm going to have it two columns. I'll do six rows, and I'm going to click insert. You can move it out this way by grabbing one of the handles. I'm going to put in and I want to go down because I want to multi post this into my other courses. I'm going to select and add. I'm not going to worry about visibility because I do have everyone seeing it and click save and return and you can see my assignments are listed here on the left hand side. Now what I'd like to do is go back out to my elementary class. Here's the content I added, my links, and my classroom activities. Please note that when you're multi-posting, the content will travel with the multi-post, but your course title and your graphic for the page will not. Please keep in mind there are more detailed training videos on the Edline Education Center. Also on Avatar, there is a three credit in-service course that you can take to to receive further training on some of the added features that were not discussed in this video. Thank you.